Hello everybody, this is Kyle Kudos, also known as TunaMan123Abel. It has been a while. It has been since 2011, which is seven years, and I would like to say that I've grown a little bit um, since my last YouTube you know, video went up seven years ago, and man, I look back at it now and I'm like, this is so cringy. I can't even believe this. It even puts that faint, disgusting feel to my face. I guess you could say that. But I decided I'm going to change my name because Tuna Man 123 Able isn't too much of a lady charmer. And every time you tell somebody about it, they always think that you're going in for a colonoscopy. But with that being said, we can hop right into this. I'm actually going to be reviewing my old youtube videos and gonna go through them all and i think i'm gonna do it periodically in a different episode each time because there are a lot to take in and i could pause during the video and describe to you what all the problems are about it and just how horrible this truly is but let's get right into it shall we this one's called the shish kebab song obviously spelt that wrong and the like to dislike ratio is the best part. That part gets me pumped every time I look at that. And I'm like, man, I did really good with myself today. But, nope. But after the video, we will go over the sad comments. And it will be a blast. You guys ready for this? Here we go. Hey, this is Tune Man 123 Able, And this has been like... My 13th video, and I just want to make this video for you guys, because I haven't made one in a while, and so I'm going to be playing the piano while singing my song I made in class today. Okay. Okay, first it's going to be like this, okay? Also, just so you know, I guess... For some reason, I didn't know the difference between a keyboard and a piano, and I get that a lot, and it, it makes me it makes me tear up a little bit each time. It's like the frog in the throat. But I guess let's get back. Wait, I gotta warm up. <clears throat> She's vibes in the morning. I also like how I said I'm going to use the keyboard but ended up not even doing anything with the keyboard during this entire song. I don't even think I remembered this song or even using this song during my day. I didn't even remember making it in class. So my 13-year-old self obviously found this very amusing and very funny. Keep in mind I was in sixth grade at the time and I was thinking that this was probably the greatest idea to become YouTube famous want me to end up with 6.7 thousand views and most of them were shots below the belt and a kick in the urethra and she's kebabs in the morning she's kebabs in the morning she's kebabs in the morning that's my song I did and now I'm going to do the thing I just made up this really took a lot of Pablo Picasso kind of work right here. Just trying to nail the keys down at the same time was a challenge. But I succeeded that challenge, and now I feel like Ron Jeremy during his first porno. Oh. Don't know what that was. Yeah. That will be on my gravestone when I die, is the slap and the slap on the butt. Um, I don't know what brought me to that idea. I'm very confused. I'm scared. And I will live that up with me to the grave. So, please help. So... And also this one can do very cool things, like this one. Or... Oh. There... I 
could also do like popcorn and like raindrop, I think. And please don't ask me in the comments where that hat went. I think I got beat up in sixth grade by these two kids because they said I had knockers on the front of my chest because of the balls that hung down below. So I think the principal probably confiscated it. But I have no idea where it went. I'm kind of sad too because that was actually a pretty cool hat. And I would totally rock it now. But, you know, I never, I never knew what happened to it. The real story behind the hat was I got it for Christmas one year from my aunt, and she's really good at knitting. I know that sounds really funny because, you know, ants and knitting, but whatever. Um, but I actually really enjoyed the hat, so I thought it was pretty cool up until I got beat up because somebody thought I had boobs. And I took that very to heart, and I will always take that to heart, but let's get back into it. Earrape.dxe. So, see you later. Oh, and also I want to um say a joke, but um okay. Why did the Mexican burrito cross the road? And comments down there and answer my question and it'll be all good. Okay, bye. So that was the Shish Kebab song. It was delightful and inspiring by many and destroyed by a lot. So, with that also being said, I have no idea why the Mexican burrito crossed the road. I wish I could tell you, but I have no idea. My train of thought has exploded and landed somewhere in South Africa. But right now we are going to go through this whole spiel of the comment section. There's not a whole lot. There's 11 comments. I know there's plenty of more comments on other things and stuff. But we're going to go through this because this is pretty self-explanatory. This was made in 2011. And the description is the song I made up. Um, this was one of... My friend's sister's friends, I guess, um, commented a year ago. Um, I love this song. Keep it up, dude. Two years ago. Wasted 2.25 minutes of my life. You're very well true. And I'm super proud that you expressed that to me as well. Wow, really? Wait, that's a song? Because your ugly face scared it. That's actually pretty clever. I'm quite impressed, actually. Smiley face. Get a life. I think actually this comment was the one that was connected to this one. The sad is, the sad this is I have more subs and more views, kids. So you can, you should get a life. And this was when I was like a kid. I said that five years ago. I was probably 15. And I still had bad grammar like that. Man. Skin me like a fish. Jesus Christ. How does a kid this dumb know how to upload a video on YouTube? I had the same question. I really did. And so did my dad after he left. And he left me for 18 years until he came back to get sauce. This was actually the guy I started doing YouTube with, and I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed doing pretty much all sorts of YouTube with him. You'll see him in some of my other videos once I review over them. But I thought maybe you guys will more enjoy it if I did it separately instead of this being super stretched out, super long. So, with that being said, I would like to say leave a like or comment or subscribe. I will be making more videos like this um, whenever I get the time. But I'm going to try to make this more of a regular thing just because I want to start making YouTube videos again. Um, it won't just be this. Of course, I'll do some gaming here and there, and I'll do some other stuff. Whatever you guys prefer or enjoy doesn't really matter to me. I got pretty lenient schedule, so if you guys would just let me know, that would be fantastic. 
name's Kyle Kudos, and I'm logging off.